On September 28, 2022, Hurricane Ian was the deadliest hurricane to strike the state of Florida since the 1935 Labor Day hurricane. Today, Video Fit Solutions is going to explore some of the devastation done by Hurricane Ian. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hurricane Ian was a large, deadly, and destructive Category 4 Atlantic hurricane that caused widespread damage across western Cuba and the southeast United States. Both the states of Florida and South Carolina were hardest hit. It was the ninth named storm and fourth hurricane and also the second major hurricane of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. Ian originated from a tropical wave that was located by the National Hurricane Center east of the Windward Islands on September 19, 2022. Two days later, the wave moved into the Caribbean Sea, bringing winds and heavy rain to the ABC Islands, Trinidad and Tobago, and the northern coast of Venezuela and Colombia on September 21st and 22nd. While many cities were damaged, Fort Myers, Florida and Sanibel Island, Florida were hardest hit. We're going to review some of the footage in both of those areas. As you can see, this individual was literally blown off of his feet. This footage was taken in Fort Myers, Florida. Ian remained a Category 4 strength as it made landfall in southwest Florida on Cayo Costa Island, tying with several other storms as the fifth strongest hurricane on record to make landfall in the contentious United States. Expected to reach over 145 mile an hour winds, Ian did not stop boaters from going out on the ocean. Who could imagine anyone would be in their right mind to do this? These boaters were very smart to return to shore and abandon their fishing trip. The haul over South Jetty is dangerous even when there isn't a hurricane. Look at the waves amassing behind this gentleman as he almost slips. As the seas became more deadly, more and more mariners decided to take to the seas. As of October 5th, 2022, Hurricane Ian has caused at least 130 fatalities, including five people in Cuba, 120 in Florida, and five in North Carolina. Of course, the U.S. Coast Guard was in action. You have to take your hat off to these guys for risking their lives every day. Ian caused catastrophic damage with losses currently estimated at $50 billion. Damage was mostly from flooding, with the cities of Fort Myers Beach and Naples particularly impacted. Millions were left without power in the storm's wake and several inhabitants were forced to take refuge on their roofs. Sanibel suffered major flooding as well and its causeway collapsed. 
Pine Island in Lee County, Florida, also suffered extreme damage and flooding, with the bridge to Fort Myers being leveled. As the winds continued, mariners continued to defy recommendations to stay on shore and continue to go out to sea. Boaters were also experiencing the dangers of wind speeds of up to 32 knots. A good rule of thumb is any boat in the water should be secured in a hurricane hole, which means a snug harbor protected on all sides from open fetch and unrestricted storm surge. Don't even think about riding out the storm at sea unless you're the skipper of an aircraft carrier. And who could think of a better time to parasail during a Category 4 hurricane? Unbelievable. Next up is a small glimpse at some of the aftermath of the damage. What you're viewing now is the Blind Pass on Sanibel Island. And here we have more damage on Fort Myers Beach. In closing, if there's ever a question of the power of a hurricane, the devastation of Hurricane Ian is just an example of it. In a hurricane, the weather can change at the drop of a dime. Please like, share, and subscribe. Video Fit Solutions out. God bless. Rest in peace to the victims.